Listen, I hope you never face criminal charges, but if you find yourself in that situation, here are a few tips that should be followed that could be a deal breaker in your case. Number one is keep working and be productive. If you're not in school, maybe start taking some classes. If you don't have a job, start looking for a job. This makes a difference because if you're actively trying to be productive and better your life, even though you're facing criminal charges, that can be really helpful for your defense attorney to be able to communicate to the prosecutor and that can really look good on your behalf. Also is gonna be how you come to court. You wanna come to court in a suit if you have one. Um, if you don't have one, go out and maybe buy a, a sport coat. You can find one at Marshalls or Ross or TJ Maxx, Burlington Coat Factory. Go get you a sport coat. You know, wear a, a, a dress shirt and some slacks. It really does make a difference when you look good. You want to respect the court process. I can't stand when I see young men coming to court or even older men coming to court in shorts, basketball shoes, T-shirts, uh, even wife beaters. Nah, man, like it's a court process. You need to respect the process. And trust me, the judge is judging you. The DA is judging you. And you have that split second or just seconds or maybe even a couple minutes to make a good impression. And how you look can definitely communicate to both the judge and the DA that you respect the process and you're taking it seriously. You also, when you're addressing the judge, you want to be respectful. You know, in court is not the time to be using your outdoor slang. You want to speak properly, speak clearly. If the DA says something, you know, there oftentimes there's going to be um, status conferences and hearings where the DA may say something that you don't like. The DA may be saying something about your character that you don't like. You don't want to react aggressively because if you're reacting aggressively in court, then you're basically buying into what the DA was arguing. And trust me, the DA sees that and the judge sees that as well. So, you know, you definitely want to follow these things. And I want to tell you a little story. I had a client who was out on bail for uh, $200,000. It was a pretty serious case involving a shooting. And uh, this case is actually still pending, but uh, he needed to modify one of his release conditions for a solid job opportunity that he had going on. So he followed number one, right? So, you know, he's out of custody, he's continuing to work, he's continuing to provide for his family and continuing to level up so that he can be his best self for his family. And so we needed to uh, get this modification and this guy has gone, he's come to court every time looking good. He wears a suit. He looks professional. You know, he, he doesn't wear a tie, but if he would, you, you might not be able to tell who's the lawyer and who's the client. That's how good this client looks when he comes to court. And I love it. And the other thing is he's always respectful. When the judge addresses him, he speaks clearly. He says, yes, your honor. No, your honor. Thank you, your honor. And you know, that's just something that the judge is able to perceive. And we've been in front of the same judge every time so when I made this request and I was able to say, hey, your honor, my client's been working this whole time while he's been out of custody. He has a better job opportunity to provide for his family, but we need to modify the release conditions. And the judge agreed. And even the people, the, the DA didn't oppose my request to bring it down from a $200,000 bail to release on his own recognizance. Why? Because he always was respectful. He dressed well. He was employed and being productive while out of custody. So you know, I know that this can have a monumental impact on your case or, you know, it, it may not, but it certainly can't hurt. So again, I hope you never find yourself in this situation, but if you do abide by these tips and if you know somebody, share it with them. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you soon.